I'm gonna go. Uh, let's go 16 8. 16 8, so not close. So, in the same way that you predicted it not to be close versus the or versus Kurt Rambis fan club, now Armada's on the receiving. We'll see. We'll, I wonder. Now that Armada has their quote 5, I wonder if that changes anything. <laughs> And people are uh, putting all the pronunciations of <laughs> of ESL out there now. Yeah. You are watching Sevo TV. I'm Cotton. My partner is Klops. Please uh, do follow us at C Zero T T O N F X N at C Klops. That's Clay, like C for Clay, and then Klops, like you see him regularly on Twitter. We just changed our accounts and moved away from our old fixation account. It was a sad parting, and now it's finally happened. Now we're live. We're into our week three match. This is D E Nuke. Clearly. Armada versus Reliable Gaming Canada. Our prediction 16-8 from our resident expert. He's pretty good, by the way. I'll tell you a little bit about that later if you guys are new to the channel. I'm not so sure. A couple decoy nades for Armada. This seems to be a running trend. Buy a bunch of decoy nades, buy armor, and just bull rush somewhere. But now, they've taken the long way around. They are all boosting up onto the big rock. Multiple boosters onto the big rock. Take a look at that through the x-ray. We won't go to it because the action hasn't yet committed. On the roof, McNutty spots an ankle, fires, sees PZ Muffin. I don't know if he knows how many are up there. They see him by that back pipe and they're taking some unnecessary damage. This strat was almost surely going to be a boost onto that little white ventilation system. Wow. Statutory Ape sends a gift from across the world. One taps Doom, he falls down lifeless. Another response traded out. Relics will get Glorians. This is a strat that fell apart and Armada's in-game leader realized it and remedied his strat. He said, okay, we're not gonna get this boost off. They know we need to make some sort of change in commitment. I find it very odd that uh, I, I think one of the I think one of the reliable players is a nip sticker. I think he's a fan. <laughs> is, that, is that weird? Nah. Nah, <laughs> it's fine. Okay, it's going to be an inner take. They've got about forty-five seconds, so they have to get they're, they have to commit pretty soon. McNutty said, "Okay, I, I scare them off, and they're not here. Nobody wants a secret, so just get ready." So they're out. Here comes the action. Char comes around the corner, blows away SNK. One more in the heaven is stuck. They have no nades to bring him down. Relics on the lurk gets McNutty, and this round is starting to look like it belongs to Armada, who had a hard go of it at the very beginning. Statutory Apes up at Heaven, they got him pinned. The only player left free from that sort of lockdown is Daps, who's playing in the hut. If they, oops, Statutory Ape will bring down PZ Muffin, or PZ Muffin, who had the jump, down to a two on two. Good retake thus far, if Ape can land this one, they've got a good chance. He turns on the last one, Relics will go down. Huge round, and do they have enough time to defuse? They do. They what should, a retake. Yeah. Statutory eight. Oh my God! He just had a monster, monster pistol run right there from the one shot across from uh, heaven, outside, uh, to you know just getting those guys as they entered in area, ending up with a quad. He absolutely aped them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I. You can't even be mad at that. Like that was just some some amazing play by him, and he really saved that round for a reliable right there. Armada almost had it with some nice play of themselves. You know, they they rushed out her and oh, uh, like no. that knife onto Daps, oh, but uh, they rushed out her and then you know reworked it towards inner and just uh, changed the pace up quite a bit and were able to get that nice entry. And now it looks like a ramp rush. It is a ramp rush. We've got one down to the back box. Satchdor Ape is protecting his teammate who fell away. Three kills immediately for him. Excuse me, two kills and daps with a nade that picks up an assist. Nobody left for Armada to really make a difference on this round. Now Doom is doomed, waiting behind the yellow at ramp for his inevitable death. Our number seven man is just stuck, waiting to hope to hit a headshot, but that in punch will throw him so far off. 2-0. Reliable has maybe another gun round because there's... There's somebody who can't buy, right? No, they'll go for nope. it. They're going to force. They're going to force. They got the bomb play on the first round, so Armada wants to buy and see if they can catch these guys off guard. And it's going to be, they might be able to. I mean, four Fomuses, uh, they can compete with the AKs, but obviously the AKs have the advantage here. So, hmm. Let's see, three smokes, possibly going to be an outer push. Smoke off the secret and the hut area, and then uh, maybe work down secret. Don't let them know you have uh, AKs until you get down to lower. lower. That could work out. Could. We'll see. Armada has their own machinations in mind. PZ Muffin will come up over the top of the big rock, and he'll try to assist Doom before peeking. One at the upper rafter. That's Ape who peeks and pre-fires the white box. He gets Doom and has now sent Doom off the field early twice. Two long-distance headshots, which has got to be so frustrating. Romulus gets hit with the nade, and he gets hit hard with three HP left. 
he cannot contribute so much anymore. So it's up to PZ Muffin to make the big play at outer, unless Reliable sends them packing for another round. Long distance, Famas engagement is lost. PZ Muffin gets the better of McNutty. It's almost as if it's not an even trade, given how weak Romulus and PZ Muffin came out. McNutty did way, way, way more than he was asked to in statutory AP. He's, uh, he's going to try to trail here. No, I thought he was going to leave his perch at upper. Nobody's rotated down except for SNK. SNK will go to him now. Our number four man is at lower. He's going to peek. Doesn't hit the shot. Char with amazing reflexes. Absolutely stunning reflexes will save his own teammate. It's down to a four on three, but Armada's working with spare change on two players. Daps at the ramp on the other side of that garage door. 30 seconds left. No commitment yet, which is a dangerous thing to be pushing a clock this far. Two down. The noise made. Daps gets traded. Three on two. Glorians and Statutory Ape will protect the bomb plant. One in the vent, that's Glorians. If he hears the beep, he can kill the bomb planter. Ape is behind, sees the bomb planter, and will execute both. No, he'll miss the second shot, the easy one on Romulus. He'll go for the suicide plant with only five seconds remaining. This is surely a loss. And a kill will make this impossible for him to win. There it is. He'll run to Toxic. Ape knows where he is. He'll no doubt spam the door, but not get a kill. Clay, uh, it's that, that's, the, that's the most frustrating thing that could have happened. Yeah, I, I don't know why Char was in the vents when he could have just waited for the sound cue of the guy dropping vents and then came in after him after he went out and got the kill, but uh, maybe a little bit of misplay by him and uh, SNK, I believe it was, actually caught him out. No, it wasn't SNK. It was De uh, Lawrence. Lawrence caught him these out. Days, in the, in the, these uh, days in, in pro meta, you don't see players waiting in vent anymore because the giveaway sound of people dropping is so obvious that people will stand away from it then enter it afterwards which is exactly what you were suggesting exactly yes flash outer maybe a charge to secret mcnutty has an op will punch a hole into char three dead for armada with only one trade thus far the op is still on the field with relic sitting at two hp and an m4 a4 shot in the back of the head reliable gaming still perfect at four armada They've got a losing streak bonus they could buy. It's not very good right now that they have this sort of losing streak bonus at the outset of this game. Uh, losing streak bonus doesn't actually kick in until the sixth round, I believe. No, it, it kicks in gradually until you hit the sixth round, which is when it hits its plateau. Hmm. Okay. Well, either way, I mean, they did save last round, so that's where they had some of this money as well. But yes, they are having some trouble here on this T side. They almost had that important pistol round, which would have uh, obviously changed things here and probably set them off to a good start. But unfortunately, not the case here. And uh, oh, it's it's tough to analyze what they need to do here. I think uh, maybe see some more movement outer. I mean, I saw one round where they smoked off the, the garage and the mini, but uh, from there on out, they really haven't been doing much pressure out there. So, I have some recommendations. We'll get to them in just a second. The smoked off wall will make it impossible for McNutty to hit a shot. He'll think that somebody's still at the red, so he'll throw a nade to deter them, but they've really passed under. They've gone to secret with relics lurking in the lobby. They're, they're focusing on outer, and that's a good thing, right? Focusing on outer will give you the greatest amount of map control on DE nuke, bar none, compared to where you could get vision at ramp or you could get vision in lobby. But if you're not doing it right, you're taking too many kills, or taking too many, excuse me, deaths in the space you're not you're not really executing well you've got to isolate players you've got to move them off their spots and that means isolating the offer that means anticipating the up for after guy who's typically eight no trade thus far doom missed his opportunity but hits a shot he takes a lot of damage 15 health for him he'll have the bomb and try to plant it in the smoke he'll need to be protected because that nade was just so obvious if he knew he was surrounded at the ramp and vent he could have probably guessed that the nade was coming two left for the t's they are spread out and they'll have to look for some individual kills if they're going to turn this round around. So, like we said, they they need a new prescription, and the prescription in Clay is they need to isolate people outer. The way they do that, probably utility nades, I think. Yeah, smokes and flashes should do the job. And, uh, I mean, the statutory ape has been pretty much playing the same spot for the most part, playing outer rafters. Uh, so they should have picked up on that by now, and they should be able to get something going if they can pick him out. It's, it's just the matter of one fire, right? You know that somebody is going to be in the left side garage picking eventually. You throw a long molly at him, get him to move backward towards CT Red, and the person on top of Big Rock hits an op shot. It's, it, that's just one case out of many that you could do to move that opper. But it's, it's expensive to get it done. You need an op to hit that shot or a one-tap AK. You need that molly. 
it's it's tough to ask Armada to do that when they're continuously continuously losing rounds. Flash yeah. in for Daps. He may push. He'll not challenge the smoke. He'll throw a nade through that smoking that somebody was on the other side. Smart of him not to. He would have run into a wall of T's, but he does shoot Romulus right through the neck, leaving him at 18 HP. That's unfortunate. He was hoping that he would be able to cross through unpunished. A minute 30, early round still. Flash in. Two flashes in. One on the ramp. He'll drop out. They'll look toward hell because they've been punished that way before. Nobody's there. They're going to jump down and go for the suicide plant. SNK thinking about dropping down. He hasn't committed yet. Nobody's called him down. Now he does it. He sees them on the upper balconies. Gets one. Daps brings down another. And a third. Relics is the first one to trade out for his team. Another kill for Daps. And this eco round looks not so successful for Armada. The last kill on Doom was a very, very solid period to that sentence. Clay, there's Armada's just having so many problems and they're bouncing back and forth between eco by eco. That slide is terrible. Yeah, and uh, I mean, they've been, they've gotten to lower quite a few times now in this half, but the problem is once they get there, they're not getting any picks on the way out, uh, outer or ramp when they do go down. So that just leaves all five members of Reliable alive and they just kind of trap them in there and then they can get the kills. So. Um, like you said, they need to start actually getting making picks out an outer or a ramp, you know, wherever they they plan on going if they want to have more success holding the sides. Sprays through. SNK takes a little bit of damage. It's a slow play, a lobby play, a wait. You wouldn't call this a default because there's nobody pressuring outer, and though a statutory ape is very disciplined checking the big rock. There is really no purpose there. This take is gonna be either upper or ramp unless they reverse out and Char's decided that he may be the one to just do it. He pre-fires the, the white box area, the big box area, to keep uh, keep people honest. Sky smoke, perhaps? He's lined up a smoke. He's let it go. He, he throws a sky flash to assist his teammates in. They're getting flashed from above. SNK's playing from on top of the hut, and he is totally blind. So are the teammates. These sky flashes are really no good. Doom gets one. Trades one. Two trades. Three. Relics will finish up that last one in the site. That's Glorin's. That leaves Daps and McNutty left to retake the site. They've got an M4A1 and an op to do it. Good placement. Daps will have to climb through the smoke and out the window if he wants to do this. One in the vent corner, one behind the silos. Wow! Flick shot! Relics goes down when almost behind cover. One more will catch McNutty by the door. Char will stuck behind, keep stuck behind that uh, silo to make sure that he doesn't get opt. PZ Muffin is very, very exposed. He knows exactly where he is. He knows where his opponent is. It's just a matter of who gets peaked first. First round of the half for Armada, finally, after an upper take. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, the strat they use, the Sky Flashes, will probably only work that one time. Uh, I mean, they could go for it again, but I think they'll probably be looking for it. And they had good smokes over in the heavens, in the heaven area. Uh, they, I, I wonder if they noticed that Reliable has pretty much been playing three uh, in A for the most part. They have one guy on the floor, one guy in Raptors, and the statutory ape has also been playing in the heaven area, um, either you know backing up the outer player or ready to go down and back up the ramp player if necessary. I think any team who has a set piece like the Sky Flash upper take knows it's sort of a one-trick pony, or maybe twice at best. It's nothing that you try twice. Armada should be smart enough not to try that again. They should be establishing outer control, which is something that they've been needing to do. They've actually decided that McNutty is a bit too much for them to handle, so they've walled him off with smokes a couple of times now. This is now the third time they've tried it. They go to lower, they make a lot of noise with their AKs trying to get into secret. SNK is down in the vent to protect the, uh, the vent take. They have to go through the control area or the DDs to get into the site. No rotates thus far. Getting down to here is not yet a success for Armada because of the fact that nobody's dead. First kill, SNK. He's typically the vent player. Armada has to know that. Daps is already down here. Sprays almost didn't get the kill. Gets traded out. Looking good thus far for Reliable Canada. They must proceed with a little bit of caution, some trepidation, knowing that they are walking on thin ice when it comes to the number of round wins. Three left for Armada. They've got to be feeling good now. Statutory Ape, who's been his star thus far, fighting off hordes and hordes of terrorists. We'll eat a nade and a flashbang. He gets backed off while the bomb gets planted. Doesn't really have a good idea of where anybody is except for that flashbang coming from the left. He'll think that's coming from probably the double doors area. He'll back off smartly to save this op for McNutty. Good play, Clay, considering your lead. But Armada 6 to 2, this 3 to 1 ratio is actually pretty standard for uh, for Nuke, despite how one-sided it's been thus far. 
It is, and you can't count Armada out just yet, despite the 6-0 uh, coming out here from Reliable. I mean, they still have time to get this, and if they get this off, that's going to be huge. But uh, if, they, if, if, if Statutory Up can force the revives, then that'll be even better. Because looking at the money for Reliable, uh, three members of the team are going to have to save, most likely. The eh, Statutory Up could buy eh, one person, probably. But I think they're probably most likely going to go for a save. Would that be your recommendation? <clears throat> Yeah, it would. Uh, well, actually, I mean, if you could buy, I think you would go for it because you have the op, and actually McNutty should have been able to buy as well. So, um, yeah, we see four, uh, three and four, sorry, an op and a deagle on SNK. They should be able to make it happen with that setup. Armada looking to capitalize on their recent success here, Wolf. Spray through, trying to get an early kill, do some early damage to players who are defending the floor or the ramp. They do some. They get Statutory Ape down to about 67, but no major damage done. It'll be a standoff. They'll go back to their upper take. Notice again that they have a player on the roof. Could it be another Sky Flash take? Could it be another Smoke Slash Sky Flash take? We wonder. Let's go to his perspective now, the number nine man. Here's the Smoke, same strat. Unless they go with a fake. Could it be a Sky Flash fake? He'll jump up onto the vent again. Here's the Flash. It's the take. We'll go back to the director. Doom is in the door. Sprays down. Had SNK surrounded two trays thus far. Romulus has no idea where his opponents are. Has two on the round. It's a clean take. The first one actually not as good as the second one. What do we know about calling strats as casters? Apparently nothing. <laughs> Romulus had the drop on Statutory Ape. He tried to charge him at the doors. McNutty will trade him out. This retake is suddenly a great success. PZ Muffin is the last one. He has to clutch. Will he peek to bring it to a one-on-one? -on -one? He'll come out the hut window. <sighs> Missed opportunity. One on one. And he wow. clutches the round. Double kill turns on Statutory Ape, who couldn't get the bullets on target fast enough. And PZ Muffin is hyped. You can see him twisting his mouse around. Holy cow. Yeah, PZ Muffin coming up really big right there. Uh, oh, man. Almost a misplay from Armada because they didn't use any smokes to uh, smoke out mini. And uh, they used all their nades basically for that entry, which they, they got in nicely and, uh, you know, traded out three people for one, which is a great entry into A. But, uh, you know, no smokes and minis is going to leave you a little bit vulnerable. And you got to be, be able to make sure that you're going to hold the site very well. And that round was almost turned, but PZ Muffin coming in big. Now, this is the reward of all rewards. Now you're two to one on the ratio. You've got an eco round for the CTs. You're feeling great. Don't ever sleep on this round. Reliable is very dangerous with their sidearms, but you can you can just have that little swell of emotion, of confidence, and think, okay, you know, we're almost there. We're almost there. Daps goes down. Relax will get excuse me, relax. Rolex? Relics will get the first of the round. They're taking it very slow. They want to be as cautious as cautious as possible. Three will be at outer. Doubled up at secret and at outer respectively, and only one will be an upper. They've got one of the vents now. It'll be a ramp take. PZ Muffin leads the charge. Coming up over the top, checking the right corner. They'll jump this ramp and fall right down. Oh, no. Ape just shoots his teammate in the face, bringing him down to 63 health with his 5-7. Uh, Peeks through the door. Glorin saw Relics, and Relics has no idea that Glorin knows where he is. A flank for him. They're going to chase him and try to steal his weapon, no doubt. Doom might go into the vent. Underneath and lands on a head. PZ Muffin, ironically, waiting for Statutory Ape where he had lost before. Comes out, peeks twice, sees his teammate, and gets confused. A melee ensues. Nobody really understood where anybody was that round. There was a lot of miscommunication. 6-4. Armada is looking great after starting out so poorly. Yeah, that was a little bit of a party over in the vents right there. Uh, a lot of action going down there. But you know like that you they said, were confused with how many people did double takes. They're like, oh, that's not my teammate. That's Yeah, yeah. it was <laughs> it was a lot of people to be in the vents. So I, I don't think anyone ever expects that many people to be constantly going through the vents. But uh, uh, we are going to see a gun round here. McNutty wielding that op outer once again. So he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. So let's see what Armada is going to be planning on doing. Let's see if they're setting up for any, uh, any strats again. I don't think they're going to go for that flash. Uh, the Take a look at this. They might, may, might later in the game, in the round, but uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, you could go back to that well. It's been very successful. Take a look at, hit, pull up the charts for me. Hit your uh, your Q button and go to your damage dealt here. I want to point out the fact that Statutory Ape is 14-3. and three. That's a huge score, but if you go to the damage to average damage per round, he's cooled off badly. He started off so hot, and now 
just slightly above average on a winning side. And that's that's alarming because they've been really leaning on Statutory Ape to be a big player for them. Yeah, and I think that just uh, has to do with, you know, Armada coming back here. But look at this. They made it down to Secret, but Reliable, once again, uh, they're waiting. And this was the problem that they were having earlier. They would get down to Secret, Reliable would let him have uh, lower, and then they would just pretty much trap him in the side. Relics comes in, lets his teammate die, unfortunately. He could have saved PZ Muffin if he had re just reacted just a hair quicker. Three on four, an unfortunate situation to be in, knowing that the bomb cannot be safely planted if somebody's behind that ramp. So Relics will come out check the door, then recover the bomb. 30 seconds remain. They don't want to commit to this site, and this is a high-level play when you think about it. They don't want to make that sound. They don't want to give anybody a reason to shoot somebody while they're exposed while planting. So they're going to be maneuvering around, seeing if they can just get that one easy kill. They can't. Tachitori was just too ready, and SNK picks up two from the Raptors. Reliable Gaming finally puts up another round. Seven to four makes them just breathe a little bit easier. Yeah, like I said, Reliable Gaming has been really good about letting them take lower, and then, uh, you know, they, they aren't over-rotating or rotating too quickly, which I think Armada was counting on right there. They had two people upper still. They're very confident in holding their sights uh, with uneven numbers, and, uh, I mean, that's really what you need to be able to, to you know, <laughs> not over-rotate and get faked out like Armada tried to do. As they did try to do, as they didn't successfully do. A lot of utility nades for Armada here. Many flashes, smokes. I, I have every confidence that they intend to use every single one of these because you wouldn't buy these if you didn't have your support players ready to use them, to have your entry fraggers ready to use them. I wonder if it's a set piece that we're waiting for. I it do. Could because be. um, I wanted to say one thing I would like to see Armada do, because they've been going down secret quite a lot, uh, bit here in this half, um, use two smokes to block out outer go down secret and then use two smokes to block off the two ramp entrances and then all they need to focus on is vents for the most part and they should be able to get the bomb planted securely that's also very true a couple of set nades and flashes mcnutty misses an easy shot tries to shoot a second one doesn't even point it at anybody finally hits the harder shot which is a bit surprising and will engage doom brings him down two for him has one behind him turns on him brings down PZ Muffin after an ugly, ugly two shots cycled through his bolt. He finally pulls it together and hits much harder shots. I think that that was the set piece that we just saw. We saw a lot of calculated smokes and nades. They built the smoke wall, right? They threw a bunch of flashes and they made the footsteps, but they left a little crease, a tiny crease along that mini side. So instead of running toward the secret, they veered back toward mini and tried to get a take. Unfortunately, McNutty was just too prepared. He saw the gap, fired, he, he missed horribly, by the way. He missed really, really badly, by the way. But he did diagnose the strat. Yeah, and to, I mean, even not talking about the gap, they sent two people through the smoke to try to kill McNutty. I mean, they sent him one by one, which is a little bit of a mistake, but sending people through smoke at an opera, probably not the best idea. The opera is obviously going to have the drop on you, and he'll one as skilled as McNutty. He's probably not going to miss that shot. So. I, I kind of like that strat. I don't know how... Uh, how does Char know this? <laughs> I, Maybe, I think he. I think when he turned, I think Char may have seen his rifle poke through the hut, uh, yeah, the hut very thin wall there. SNK will fire back after getting dinked. One health left, but he gets the better of the engagement. Char goes down. Romulus tried to blind fire up on the Raptors and almost hit a shot, but missed it. Char lulls. I think. I think exactly what we just said is what happened. He saw a gun poke through. He started shooting through. McDonnie almost took off Glorens's ankles. I was I was talking about how I did like that strat. I like the concept. It's very very simple to see the one two smoke. It's a it's a staple that all teams have. We call the one two smoke the smoke that cover up the mini and the big garage. When you when you see that, you automatically think rotate lower. And if you if you run toward mini, you don't typically see that very often. I can see that getting more popular if another team did it like a Nip or a VG. Uh, not VG. I gotta stop saying that. Titan. Did it, and, and we see it more in uh, in matchmaking play. Two on two, and the comeback is on. PZ Muffin comes up through. I don't know why Relics came crawling through that little window. McNutty was there waiting for him. PZ Muffin, who clutched before, is forced to do it again. One in the vent, one in the control room. Our number nine man stuck behind the silo with 20 seconds, and he knows he has to make the play. That sound bait is not going to fake anybody out. He gets shot in the side, and everybody knows he took uh, took a hit. So what is he waiting for? McDonnie waits for him with his P250. Gets a piercing through the rail kill. Nine to four. The half looks manageable still for Armada if they can win maybe one more. Yeah, maybe they'll uh, do the uh, the ceiling flash that they've uh, had success with two times now. But uh, it would be risky. And uh, 
yeah, like I was saying, uh, I wanted to comment how you said you you liked the the, the strat where they w tried to go through the smoke towards the opera, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do too, but it, the fact that they did it one at a time is the problem that I had with it. Yeah. Um, you know, one at a time going up against McNutty, like I said, a very experienced opera, you're most likely not going to come out. <laughs> come out too well right there. And look at this, we have two people up on the, up on the roof outside. I think they might be uh, going for the uh, sky flash here once again. Yeah, they were spamming the silo area where players traditionally wait. They spammed on top of the hut, through the hut, and tried to get some early kills. They didn't actually hit anybody. They want to make it a little bit easier for themselves. Worth noting that they are having so much trouble defeating the Opera at Outer that their their success is an inner, and I think they really noticed that. They said, okay, guys, today's not our day fighting an Opera, and McNutty's getting the better of us, and we've got to take this to inner where we've had some success. So Statutory Ape realizes this, is here to support his teammate, plays the right side vent, and now it's a three-on-three. -three. Both in rafters, McNutty gets the better. SNK will face off against Char, who is at the squeaky door, was never ready for him. Gets blindsided. 10 to 4, reliable. They're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty darn good. Yeah, that w that was in fact the uh, the Skyflash strat. I went to PZ Muffin's uh, perspective there, saw him throw the, the nades. But this time, reliable is ready for it. You had Statutory Ape in the vents waiting, and then he came out after the nades popped. Very smart. And uh, you also had SNK sitting in the site behind the silos, uh, avoiding all the flashes and and whatnot. So they weren't really blind whatsoever as the entrance came in from Armada. I think you need a, a little bit of a deeper playbook. You know, you have your default, you have your set pieces. I think I think maybe one or two solid set pieces from Armada would uh, would help them establish a stronger T side on mid. Yeah, I think they're close. SNK, speaking of being close, in the secret, very close to Doom. He gets, oh! <laughs> he threw a nade at himself, got scared of it, and ran up and into the crosshairs of his opponents. That, that is CSGO Falling right there, if you've ever seen him before. <laughs> that was so goofy. <laughs> Romulus, still fighting McNutty, who's knocked behind the, uh, the CP red. I don't think McNutty knows that somebody's on top of the mini. Yeah, he does now. PZ Muffin has a nade for him. There's the kill. Three on three. Last round of the half. 55 seconds remaining. A Negev for Daps. That's a no respect buy right there. Warren steps out. Had one. Gets traded. Statutory Ape, who was the MVP early on, now faces off against the Clutch Man. PZ Muffin, who has clutched already this game. One on one. He might have seen him. Get shot in the back of the head. Anti Climax. 11 to 4. Sevo TV. I'm Cotton. My partner is Klops. Second half coming. Clay, if you send them to commercial, the people who aren't in commercial, give them their impressions of the half. Um, ah, oh man, kind of weak from Armada, honestly. The T side, but, not that strong. But just barely passable. Just barely yeah. passable. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they had the two successful Sky Flash strats, but then they tried to do it a third time, and by that point, you know, I think the the <laughs> they learned a trick by then, you know. So they're they're not falling for it again, and it didn't work out for them. They they had some strats where they got down to lower, and then they kind of didn't know what to do from there. And like I said, I I feel like if they would have just you know saved some smokes for the ramp, they would have had much more success there, been able to isolate the vents. But uh, they didn't do that. And also, I mean, they tried maybe once or twice to go ramp. Didn't really test the ramp guy too often. Uh, they could have probably done a couple more rounds there. But for the most part, like you said, their playbook in T side of uh, Nuke seemed lacking for the most part. We'll see if Reliable <laughs> has anything different. Pistol round here. A couple five sevens. One P250, it looks like and the engagement. We're all on low. Reliable Canada has taken the site. They brought down PZ Muffin and Doom fighting by himself in the vent. In unadvisable. Inadvisable. I hate conjugating that word. Complete sweep. Reliable Canada makes mincemeat out of Armada. That was very embarrassing on their part. So they're calling for a pause. I think Char was lagged out maybe? Because um, it seemed like no one was at... Uh... Excuse me. It seemed like no one was watching ramp right there. They just kind of went down, uh, <laughs> took the site freely. Excuse me, and then picked up uh, the kills as they rotated in. So nothing too crazy from our mod right there. And this is the first time that it's ever been paused, but we're actually here for the pause and 
This is weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever been in a server while it's paused and seen the action going on while it was paused. It, it should be worth noting that PZ Muffin calls out the fact that this is very like the land. They're referring to the ETS land where these two teams have actually faced off before. Reliable had a bit of a poor showing. Armada, yeah, well, they played all right. It was, I think, I can't remember the scoreline anymore. I was about to say the scoreline, and I'm, I won't try to because I'll just end up embarrassing myself, but they did play each other. So yeah, it looks like Spangler uh, worked up a new pause here, where the teams could buy, and it actually tells us that the match is paused. So that's cool. You know what else he did today? He he rigged up. Uh, he fixed the config that allows our uh, our server settings to be saved every time the server goes down. So in case we ever run into some unfortunate guests, we can preserve the money, the gun you had, the round wins, all that stuff. That is awesome. Good job, Mr. Spangler. Yep. Yeah. And Char is still uh, having some ping issues. It's actually dropping down a bit here. So hopefully we should be going back to live pretty, pretty soon. That's unfortunate. When I called out Doom for, for doing a bad peak in lower, I think I, I didn't really realize that nobody was at ramp to, tell, to give him the body count. You yeah, know? yeah. I, I think he peaked thinking that uh, maybe just one, but it turned out to be all five. If Char had been <laughs> alive, I think he would have said, don't peak, there's five of them. Yeah. And then that wouldn't have happened. Exactly. So, unfortunate, though, that it happened because uh, that T-side pistol round can be really, really big for our uh, reliable. And it looks like Char is actually going for a restart, so. Hmm. Okay. Is this something we need to go back to the lobby for? No, I don't think so. It should be really quick. I think he's just restarting his client really fast, and then uh, they, should be, they should be going. Okay. <clears throat> I like that uh, that LGB yeah. sticker on the red line. That's a very attractive looking gun now. Yeah, it is. What are your thoughts, LGBs? I think LGB has a shot at it. I I I think that this time around we won't have the dark horse winner. I don't see the fanatic winning this time. I think it's going to be one of the favorites that wins it. Yeah, whether that I be think, Titan uh, or Nip. Yeah, I think I I think Nip is uh, looking to come back into the into the glory mm. of winning yeah once again but we'll see i what have they lost like something like 18 matches to titan this this year it's not <laughs> it's not good it is Whatever. titan is uh pretty freaking ridiculous but they're yeah. aptly named we're back into the second round they've lost their pistol round they being armada have lost their pistol round now they have to eco unfortunately after playing a man down Send them into upper. The stack will be at ramp. Do we see the push that we anticipate at ramp? I don't know. Smartly not playing outer this round because of the fact that uh, your pistols, unless you're wielding a deagle, aren't going to do much for you outer. They're going to try to hold on to the ramp. Relics wants to trade out his teammate. They do. They try to seize his gun. They find out that Daps was, in fact, the lurker. Walk around at outer. Doom had no idea that st statutory ape was right next to him. They'll take upper, and they'll take it fairly safely. SNK will plant behind the silos and they'll have pretty easy what in an easy go I don't I, will they try to retake the site they'll just go for exits I don't even know well they only have one gun here so I see no reason for them not to retake the site I mean they lost the pistol round so they got to make it up honestly if they let Armada I mean not Re Armada <laughs> if they let Reliable get this one and then uh, presumably the next one due to having the money they're going to be looking at trouble here Headshots there, like you can tell by their body language, that they're not actually going for this defuse. Yeah. Char maybe ran in trying to get the ninja defuse, but never really happened. They do know that they have another eco round to go through, so that Gallo may help next round. Yeah, let's take a look at the money. Maybe they go for the third round buy. I don't think they have. Yeah, they don't have enough money to be dead at third round buy. Um, this is a shame. Let me let me just say this. This score line is not indicative as to what this game should be. Armada has played pretty fiercely on their T side. I think this could have been a little closer had they had a had a fair shot of the pistol round here. And reliable gaming, when, when they have an advantage such as two pistol round wins, the score is just going to always, always look way lopsided like this. But I don't feel like it's played out that way. No, it hasn't. I mean, Armada did put up, uh, I mean, in terms of, uh, I mean, they lost quite a few rounds, obviously, on the first half. But the rounds weren't, like, blowout rounds. They, they were relatively close. Seeing relics with that gun, trying to make something happen in here, but uneventful. But uneventful. PZ Muffin waiting at the exit of ramp, looking to ambush somebody again. They're trying to get them to fall for the same trick twice. We may not actually see it, though. 
minute 18 on the clock, everybody alive, and nobody is taking much damage with the exception of SNK, who's down to 82. Default hold for Reliable Canada. They're, they're expecting a push pushers, here. They're, yeah. yeah, they're expecting a, a, a big sort of all or nothing, all in kind of push. They're not going to get it. Armada's content to hold on to their slots here. Doom jumped across foolishly, trying to get to lower to save his own bacon. He dies. PC Muffin tried to trade. Ran face first into a bullet. McNutty almost decapitated relics as he tried to transfer over. There are not too many ways that the uh, Armada CPs can figure this round out now. Two left. Romulus and Char, they have no reason to save these weapons, so they're just going to have to make do with what they got. Armada loses another. That's Char who goes down. Romulus to the left. Last one left with the CZ. Fails to bring down Statutory 8. 14 4. We're on to the tie point for Reliable Gaming Canada. Time for us to shower the superlatives onto Reliable Game Canada. They are looking absolutely terrific today. They are. They really are. And we are on the gun round now, which is time for uh, Armada to come back here and, you know, shut them down. But, uh, you know, Armada still hasn't seen any of the strats that Reliable has uh, in store for them. You know, they didn't do anything fancy on those first three rounds. So they could uh, pull out the stops here and just pick up these two, maybe. Uh, make it a quick one, and we are seeing uh, the one-two smokes that we call out loose outside. So it looks to be an outer concentration and possibly go down secret, but we'll see where they go. From there. Yeah, yeah. We have four moving toward outer with a single lurk. That's Dax who's waiting in the lobby. Doom fires through the smoke and gets Glorence. He also dinks Statutory Ape, who's down to about 19. It's a pretty good look. Excuse me, that can't be a dink, huh? A, a dink from that distance, even with the M4A4's damage deterioration over distance, would bring you down to about 10. So that might have been a neck shot, a long range neck shot. Four left for the team. Try to enter the site. McNutty takes a shot right in the helmets from the man behind the silo. They nade him, he counter nades back. He almost broke the doors, though so, you can only knock out a hole in them if I'm not mistaken. Char brings down Daps, five alive for the CTs. It's looking good. Armada needs this pace. It's suddenly evened up. Three alive for both teams. Relics shoots McNutty, who is the bomb carrier. Leaves the bomb stranded up on top. Can't hit the second shot. Statutory Ape comes out and two bursts him. It's two on two, but the bomb is out of place, and they'll have to make a very dangerous run to go grab it. Char is waiting. He knows. He's aiming slightly high. 40 seconds. Here's the flash in. It's a decoy. He doesn't even flinch. Brings down Statutory Ape, who came in to pre-fire him. SNK knows where one is, and though he backs off, he'll challenge both of them. So he's got the location of both. He feels pretty confident in it, so he'll charge and go the wrong way, surprisingly. Char shoots him in the back once, follows it up with a second volley, brings him down. 15, excuse me, 14 to 5. Armada, they have the round, but it might be too little too late. Yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> that decoy attempt there uh, to fake out the flash was... It was a good try, uh, but he, he knew what he was looking at and knew it was a decoy, so good job by him. Uh, I felt like the peak came a little later. Maybe if he would have gone sooner, it, it could have worked out, maybe thrown him off a bit, but either way, Armada with a nice defense in that round was uh, very, very close, so they're going to try to just rush up right now. So Fire for everyone. Glorins is content to stand in it, surprisingly. Trades Glorins for, uh, that was Romulus. Huge engagement. Everybody goes down. It's a two-on-three. Suddenly, in mere moments, a shotgun in the face of Ape, and he walks away somehow unscathed at 95 HP. Doom and PZ Muffin in the site. Not necessarily in the site, as Doom is above the site. PZ Muffin actually behind the vent. Statutory Ape seems to know. The beak, that's the round. 14-6. No comeback called out just yet. It's still a very, very long, long road. But Armada is doing the right things, and they'll probably force an eco unless SNK wants to drop cheap guns for everybody. It's probably going to be an eco, and I think that uh, that upper rush right there was probably just a test to see who, uh, how Armada is playing upper, and seeing if they can take advantage of that side when they do have a full, uh, full buyout. But here we are. We're seeing P250s, SNK buying armor since he had extra cash, and we'll see what they're going to do here. Looks like a lobby hold. They'll come in, look for pushers, and try to take it slow, maybe hit a shot from the window of the hut, or uh, try to manipulate somebody to come through squeaky and hit their shot. Now they'll change directions and perhaps even walk through the smoke into ramp. This is a huge gamble, but if they get it and get some kills here, they'll be in good shape. Fire for everybody in the doorway. Doom has three on the round, has somebody on his left, tucked into the yellow side here, and if he gets caught, that'll be a kill for him. Doom, it's taken down after a triple. He's done his part for the round. Romulus saves his teammate from being taken down. And the last one tucked into the corner is another one for Romulus tacked on. 14 to 7. Armada 
is done with their streak. Now they have to face a real gun round. Yeah, good use of fire by Armada, though, you know, stopping that upper rush over the squeaky, and then uh, on that last round, stopping that uh, that inner push, and, excuse me, the ramp push with the fire as well. Very nice use of that, and we actually see two, three more incendiaries being bought by those guys, so they are going to use that to their advantage, and uh, it could be problematic for Armada, uh, Reliable. Now, Reliable Canada, they haven't played enough in this half to really diagnose what's going on in outer. We know that they've been playing two outer. And that they've not been playing the traditional have a dedicated opera inside of the garage, make your best shot, and then hope for the best. They've been mixing it up, moving somebody to the CT red, moving somebody up to the T red, and now we have another person at T red. They kind of have an idea of where he is. They want to isolate him and get him out in space. It's a crossfire, though. Look at the minimap. PZ Muffin is standing underneath the big rock, and they're going to chase relics coming to find him. PZ Muffin misses his golden opportunity, and now they have him isolated. Relics is now doomed, and this round could be reliable before the action ever fully committed. Relics is still there. Everybody knows, and they're calling out his spot. There's the kill. Two down, and those are devastating deaths there. Th that was an ambush set up for success, and PZ Muffin missed his shot. Doom now has to make the big play. He comes up. The secret at McNutty was waiting. It's fallen apart. Two left for the CTs, one at mini. Romulus brings down SNK and will drop out of the mini to save his own hide. Statutory Ape has flanked all the way back around. He's in the lobby. He'll go to the squeaky and ultimately shoot Romulus in the back. I'll go to him now. Our number two man is in the hut and waiting. Perhaps a bit too patiently. We'll go back. Statutory Ape in the hut. Here is Char firing from the rafters and picks him off. It doesn't pick him off. Char sprays back. Walks away with just 8 HP. Romulus will decide to use the stairwell and let his teammate use the vent. It's going to be a hard retake. It's going to be probably the hardest of retakes. And there's going to be no attempt. They're going to play for the long range tie. I don't know if I feel that this is an okay decision given the fact that it's two on three. It's hard, but it's not undoable. Well, uh, looking at their money, if they lose these guns, then they won't be able to drop their teammates for the next round. Um, so, I mean, I, I guess I understand saving for the long haul, but it is it is definitely going to be tough to win this many rounds and go for the tie for these guys. Um, oh, man. And that outer play, that push-up from Secret, could have been aided by a flash from the guy in mini, but they didn't do it, and he just peeked by himself, and uh, obviously reliable as... Uh, <clears throat> experienced enough to know that, hey, we got to keep eyes on Secret, which they did, and they were able to pick up that kill, and the round just uh, kept snowballing from there. That was an all-or-nothing stack at Outer, and they really did come up with nothing. Armada will frag through the hut, try to do some damage taps. Eats a little bit of it, comes out with 84, and one taps Char! A devastating hit. The inner defender now down, the upper defender, I should say. Though this was not the focus of their strat, the rotate will not come up over to support the upper bomb site, as the majority of the T presence is that outer moving towards secret. Relics will be down there. They see they reliable Canada see the smoke in front of them and will take it patiently, smartly awaiting that smoke to dissipate before they make a decision on which way they will travel. Lawrence and Statutory Ape now holding it outer. They've got the uh, they've got the big rock control. They've got the T red control, and they want to make sure that nothing happens. It's not calculated for their uh, their eventual take it lower. Went to third person for a moment, but we're back. Easy Muffin flashes up over the top. Flashes one. Doesn't get a kill. Frags back, and Reliable Canada smartly retreats. Nobody takes any damage from that. They must have figured out that their strat had been discovered. They'll come back, reverse up toward the mini. They want to take upper. Here comes the entrance. SNK has the first shot. Misses his opportunity. 1-1 one, one trade. Armada's Romulus gets taken down. Doom trades Glorins before he's taken out. Two on one. PZ Muffin the last. He has a weapon. It's an M4A4. He'll come through the unfortunate avenue of the upper, and this could be the very end. Hot flash. Comes up over the top is safe. Sees one at the hut. No good. He can't see because his gun's blocking the vision of the one below him. He's got an idea that he might be there. There's the kill. 16-7. Reliable wins it. Your prediction are... I don't even know how you do that. Your predictions are always, always very, very close. You called it. They're the stronger team. <clears throat> Armada pretty much followed the script for the night. Yeah, they did. Uh, like you said, we had him pegged as the underdogs for this match, and... Uh, as the better team for the first match, which is exactly what happened. Uh, but, you know, nice round there by 
reliable at the very end. You know, they saw the early rotates coming in from uh, from Armada, and they rotated quickly back towards upper, got the kills, and just just uh, defended it. You know, quite easily. So good game, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. You've been watching Seaboat TV. I hope you enjoy our new moving background. <clears throat> if uh, you guys are into Counter Strike, I'm sure you'll be watching all day tomorrow. We'll have some Seaboat Peak coverage tomorrow evening. If uh, if the European games end and you still have an appetite for uh, for CS:GO, for this guy, I hope I'm pointing the right direction for Klops. You're not. For my, that's all right. <laughs> for for this guy, did I point it? Is that right? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> for Klops, for myself, we are uh, we're done for the evening. He does the sign off, so I'll let him finish it up. Yeah. Thanks again for stopping me, guys. Bye, guys. We uh, really appreciate it. We hope you give us a follow here on Twitch. Also, check out our social media links below and give those a follow as well to see when we go live and check out our schedules. Uh, other than that, we have our Twitters uh, on the overlay, as you can see, so we would appreciate it if you follow those as well. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for us. I'm Klops here with Cotton saying goodnight, and thanks for stopping by. See ya.